How would you like to make beef jerky out of ground beef? Cost effective, super easy to make, and you can make pounds of it. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So I've been on the carnivore diet now for two, almost two years. I help my digestion so much, it's all I wanna do. If your gut is sen sensitive like mine, to spices, to sugar, and those sort of things, you're gonna wanna make your own beef jerky. If you're traveling or something like that, to have some really good nutrition with you. And so I always travel with at least a couple pounds of beef jerky. Really simple to make this. All you need is ground beef, chef's choice slicer, magic mill dehydrator here, and the salt that we're gonna to use today is this smoked salt, this Malden smoked salt. This ground beef has been thawing for about an hour. You want it frozen because it slices easier. If you want your meat really crispy, slice it eighth of an inch thick. If you want it thicker, I would put it at a quarter of an inch. You can make it even thicker than that if you want. So all you have to do is just adjust the thickness. So the thinner you go, the more crispy the beef jerky is gonna be. The thicker you go, the more rubbery the beef jerky will be. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna set the slicer to an eighth of an inch, which is a three on this device. Heads up, I use a serrated edge blade on mine because it tends to cut the frozen meat better. What I like about the Magic Milt has these metal trays with the decent holes in them, so it, it really dries the jerky really well from both sides. Be very careful about your fingers. And you can see that it comes out like so. And see how it curls, because it curls like that because it's frozen. Okay, once we've sliced our jerky, we're going to arrange it on, on the screens. Put them fairly close together. Don't worry if, the, if they're even right on top of each other. They'll stick together a little bit, but you, sometimes you can peel them apart once they're dried because it's all going down the belly. Going down in the belly. So now that you have your ground beef sliced, what we're going to do is put the, th the salt in. I put the salt in a tray like this. Sprinkle it on. I'm pretty generous with it because the salt is really tasty. It has a real, has a nice smoked flavor to it. Okay. Open up the dehydrator and throw that bad boy in there. Okay, and repeat. There was our last one. You can see that there's still some leftover meat, pieces of ground beef that fell here on the bottom. And what I typically do is just take that ground beef, make it a little miniature patty, and I put it on there, and that will dry up as jerky. Put a little salt on it, and we're good to go. All right, now that we have the jerky in there, that was five pounds of ground beef covering all these trays, so I could fit probably another pound, so there'd be six pounds of ground beef that I can do in this, in this dehydrator. Six pounds of meat typically translates into about two and a half, maybe three pounds of jerky total. So we go ahead and press start, then we set the temperature to 145, and we set the time to to 12 hours. So time 12 hours, 145 degrees, and in 12 hours I'll have about two and a half, three pounds of ground beef jerky. Just salt and meat. All right you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll link the Magic Mill, Chef's Choice, and the Malden Salt all in the show notes. Full transparency, I do get a kickback if you do purchase one of these, so I thank you very much for your contribution to my channel, and please subscribe and like this video so others may find it. Happy beef jerky making and look forward to talking with you in the comments.